Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R Keshwani. I will solve problems here for you guys starting from now for GRE. You must have this book in front of you, the GRE, practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. And I will solve problems out of this book. Start, there are seven exams in this book, starting from, of course, exam number one. The problems that I'm about to solve, or rather problems that I'm about to solve, are the ones that you will find on page number 123. So here we go, GRE. This is the tag that you want to use if you want to look for any given problem. GRE dash 10th edition dash P123 for page number 123 dash QC. Now QC stands for quantitative comparison. These are the kind of problems that uh, some people have trouble with. Uh, these are the kind of problems where you're given two quantities in the two columns. Two columns and you simply ask to, uh, to tell them uh, which quantity is bigger and that's all it is. If the quantity A is, if, if the quantity in column A is bigger, you are to pick answer choice A. If the quantity in column B is bigger, one is to choose answer choice B. If you feel the two quantities are equal to each other, answer choice is C. And if there is not enough information to determine which quantity is bigger or if they are equal, if you cannot tell based on the information that is given to you, the answer is D. Now in this particular section, there are 15 quantitative comparison questions. This is this book, the exams in this book. Again, I'm going to show you one more time, the 10th edition, practicing to take the GRE, the 10th edition. The seven exam in this book are from the good old days. The good old days which are distant memories now when the exam used to be paper and pencil. In, in that scenario all the questions were arranged in the order of difficulty. There are 15 questions in this particular section of quantitative comparison which means 1 through 5 are easy, 6 through 10 are medium, and 11 through 15 are hard. When you take the exam, the exam that you're going to take is a new exam, which is a com computer adaptive exam. It adapts with, uh, based on how you answer the previous question. It determines the difficulty level of the next question based on how you did in the previous one. This no longer applies. The questions are not arranged in the order of difficulty, but here they are. I'm going to start with question number one, and, and you will find that it is very simple. Let's see what we can do. Number one. Forty percent of fifty plus sixty versus can you erase all this ten? Sixty percent of fifty plus 40. All right, let's see, let's, let's see what we can do here. The very first, very first thing you should understand is that because here you are asked to compare, think of this as the two, two, two parts of the balance. Your job simply is to figure out which part is heavier or if they are equal, that's all. So the very first thing I'm going to do is cross out this 40 with the 60, it becomes 20. So 40% of 50 is how much? I know 40% of I know 40% of 100 is 40, so therefore 40% of 50 has to be half of it. So this is this quantity is 20. What is 60% of 50? Well, 60% again, 60% of 100 is 60, so therefore 60% of 50 should be half as much. So this is 30. So this guy is 10 more less than this guy, but we got a 20 here, which means the answer is A. Because you got 20 plus 20, which is 40, and here we have a 30. That's all. That's it, we are done. Let me look at the clock in the back and I'm going to keep on going until I run out of time. I'm going to try to keep all the, each of the clips into 10 minutes because that's what, that's what the YouTube, YouTube, YouTube allows me. Anything more than 10 minutes they, they frown upon, upon.
We are five minutes into it. Let's do one more. And again, I'm going to keep changing the tags. Question number two now. So if you're looking for, if you're searching for any particular, any particular question, if you're sort of searching for any particular question, just type in this tag in the search and it will come up. Just type in GRE 10th edition, the page number where the question that you're looking for, quantitative comparison, because these are the, these are the questions that I'm going to do first, and then the question number, of course. Now the second question says, 112 of 17. 112 of 17. What does off mean? Do you know? What does the word off mean? Well, let's, let's take a look at it. For example, if I ask you what is what is half of 10, what did you tell me? Half of 10. Of course, the answer is 5. Why? Because the word off means times. Half of 10, of course, is 5. Off means times. So, 112 of 17 is same as 17 times 112, or 112 times 17, same thing, which is 17 over 12. That's what this quantity is. Let's look at the quantity in the second column. I need to erase this again. I shouldn't have put it way up high here. Let's look at the quantity in the second column. I'm going to put it, try to squeeze it over, no, squeeze it over there. One seventeenth of twelve. One seventeenth of twelve. You see, off right here. Off means times. Off means times. One seventeenth of twelve, of course, is same as twelve over seventeen. So your job is to figure out which quantity is bigger. 17 over 12 or 12 over 17? Is that what is it can be that simple, can it? Oh, this is too simple. This is only question number two. You see, that's why it's so simple. Of course, this one is bigger because this is more than one. That's less than one. This quantity is less than one. So the answer is A. That's all. Let's do one more. Let me look at the clock again. We are eight minutes into it. I think I'm going to stop here. I think I'm going to try to do two in each clip. I think that'll be better. And then as they get harder, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take more time. But, uh, well, uh, I hope you found this helpful. And you'll find me in the next clip where I'm going to do, try to do three and four together and so forth. If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to all the problems for the GRE in this book out of all the seven exams each one of them uh, solved individually if you want to find the solution manuals from me or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring I'm located in Connecticut I tutor mostly in the in this region Connecticut I go to Manhattan uh, Massachusetts Rhode Island so on and so forth doesn't matter where you are it makes no difference at all as long as you and I can make an arrangement, as long as, I, as long as you and I can come to an agreement, regardless of where you are, I'll be happy and come to help you there for personal private tutoring. Go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp